good morning students this is your computer class and today we are going to cover chapter number two that is computer language okay before starting i just want to clear something that i am going to explain the chapter just like we do in our class in our regular classes that means i'm going to read a paragraph first and then i will explain the same paragraph in a very simple language okay let's move back to the chapter lesson number to computer language language is a medium to express our views and feelings to communicate with a computer we need a language that a computer understands a computer needs stepwise instructions to perform any actions as we all know that language is a medium to express our feelings or emotions very efficiently to one another just like we do in our general lives likewise we also need some language that computer understand and through which we can communicate with computer by using such languages we can instruct the computer that what action it has to perform to get some results okay moving on to the next paragraph let's read it a program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do the process of writing specific instructions in a computer language is called programming each programming language has its own specific rules the evaluation of programming language has made it easier for the programmers to write powerful application programs okay program a program is a group of stepwise instruction that tells computer to do some action or work accordingly and provide some desired result so this is the definition of a program okay and writing a program writing a program in some computer language a programming language is called programming and the person who writes the program using computer programming language is known as programmer like any other languages for example like hindi we have hindi grammar for english we have english grammar and so on computer language do also follow some rules of its own each programming language or computer language has their own specific rules in class 5th we all have studied about evaluation of computer parallel to the development of the computer programming language also developed a lot evaluation or development of a programming computer language can be categorized into four categories first is machine language this is also known as first generation language second assembly language assembly language is also known as second generation language third is high level language this is also known as third generation language and fourth generation language is termed as its name fourth generation language the first generation and the second generation language also termed as low level language because these two languages are much machine friendly rather than user friendly okay let's read the machine language machine language is the only language that a computer understand it is expressed in binary form that is zeros and ones where zero means off state and one means on state okay since computer is a machine that means it's an electronic device which means it works on electricity and electricity has only two format or two state that is on state and off state 
and this language the machine language is the only language that is expressed in binary format by using these two state of currents that means on state and off state here on state of current is recognized or referred as one and off state is referred as zero so this becomes the first and the only language among all the generations language that computer understands directly it does not need any kind of translator programs to translate the machine language so that computer understands it okay let's read the next paragraph machine language has the advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization these two are the basic and very important advantage of machine language let's see the first one very high speed very high speed means a machine language program that means a program which is written in machine language can be very fastly executed by computer in comparison to any other program written in some other generation language now second is very low memory utilization a machine language program uses very little space in memory to store and execute because it does not need any translator program as it is directly understood by computer okay let's see the next paragraph now understanding and learning machine language is a tough and time consuming process it is very difficult to write and debug programs written in machine language okay because of the uses of binary form machine language becomes the toughest language to learn and it needs more and more time practice so that a programmer can learn this language or may learn this language and a program written in the binary format also take much effort to write and debug let's see the next paragraph it is extremely high machine dependent that is why machine language is also regarded as low level language a machine language program written on one computer may or may not run on another computer because of this very few people opt for specialization in machine language okay machine language is extremely machine dependent means it is much more to the machine side it is not a user friendly language this language is a platform dependent language that means if a program written on one computer it may or may not be executed on another computer that means if we want to execute the same program on some different computer that is written on one computer then it needs to be written completely onto the next computer that is why very less people choose this language to work with okay this is for now assembly language high level language and fourth generation language we will see next week thank you